Don't you think it's a little sacrilegious to hatch a plot in a chapel? It's a non-denominational chapel. What does that mean? We need a place to talk away from Valentine. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, it's enough. Enough what? Enough of your self-assured, nothing bothers you attitude, okay? Do you have any idea what you've gotten yourself into by pretending to be Bailey's father? If the truth is found out, then you will have two enemies, Valentine and Peter. Do you have any idea what you signed up for? I wasn't thinking long-term. I was thinking on the fly, I had to. Okay, well, until we know that Peter's not a threat anymore, I mean, you're gonna have to continue with this lie. You're gonna have to tell everyone. Are you ready to tell your parents that they're gonna be grandparents again? You're gonna have to tell Finn, and how about Willow? It's not the first time that you've had to tell a lie for the greater good. And the lie worked. It kept Nell from getting custody of Wiley. Well, are you ready to tempt fate again? <sighs> oh, it's Maxie. She's freaking out about something. Look, I would not blame you if you don't want to take the charade any further. You know what? Maybe we should just go back to Valentine, tell him the truth, beg him for his help, and then you don't have to be a part of the charade and get in any deeper. Max, please tell me Gladys did not... Chase, hi. Um, if you don't mind, I'd like to speak to Brooklyn in private. Oh, this is about Bailey. Anything that you have to say to me, you can share with Chase. He knows everything. Brooklyn told you that Chase was Bailey's biological... I think in this situation, you're going to need to define what everything is. I know that Bailey's not Valentine's daughter, or even Brooklyn's. She's yours. And you and Brooklyn cooked up this plan to hide her in plain sight to protect her from her actual father, Peter August. Well, that sounds like everything. Don't look at me. I didn't tell him anything. He figured it out on his own. And it's a good thing. Because after Gladys came to tell Valentine that I'm deceiving him, I almost confessed everything. And thankfully, Chase walked in and said he's the father. Wait, you told Valentine that you're Bailey's father? The timing works. Brooklyn was bunking with me around the time she supposedly got pregnant. Okay. Okay, wait, I, I just need a second to process this. How did Valentine take the news? How do you think he took it? It was a wreck. He's actually really angry at me for lying to him. Poor guy. I know how much love he has for my baby. Do you think he believed that Chase is Bailey's father? He seemed to. I even acted all mad at Brooklyn for lying to me. Okay. Okay, good. Because now that Peter's coming back to Port Charles, we can't take any chances. Peter's coming back to Port Charles? Yeah, I called Anna and she said he'd been apprehended in Greece and they were extraditing him to Port Charles. Well, then our problems are solved. With Peter in custody, you can announce that Bailey is really Louise, and you can take your daughter back. Chase, as much as I want that to happen, we can't tell the truth about Bailey anytime soon. 